Rashid, pronto voy a hacer una entrevista con él y vamos a ver un poquito más de, de él. Vamos a empezar a hacer entrenamientos por capítulos de condicionamiento, calentamiento, estiramiento y todo lo que necesiten sin equipo, sin equipo, con nuestro mismo cuerpo. Thank you, Peter, and explain us a little bit how this is going to go. Okay, so we're going to work out with very too little equipment, um, it's very resourcefully, so something that you can do in your living room at home or outside in the park. You don't need to go to a gym to do this stuff, so let's get started. So we're gonna start off in this kind of a stance, and we're just gonna lift our leg up and kick. Now notice I use my arm when I kick, and now we're gonna go for 10 repetitions. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we switch, go on the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks good. Eight, nine, ten. Do I need to keep on my arm? Yeah. So this arm, and she has a good question, do I need to use my arm? Yes. So this is going to help with counterbalance. So as you kick, you use your arm. Okay, not both, but just one. Okay, just like that. We're going to do uh, three exercises and we're going to do it for three to five rounds. We start with that and then we move on to these. So we're going to do our mountain climbers. We're going to start this here. Now we do this for about 30 seconds. If you can't do 30 seconds, you can maybe do 20 seconds or 15 seconds. And you can take little breaks along the way. But make sure your butt's low and you bring your knees up towards your chest. Okay? And time. Now I'm gonna stand up. So that's the second exercise. Yeah, so that's all your lower core, your shoulders, everything is involved, and it's also your cardio and your stamina as well. So it's a lot of stuff going on, okay? okay. And the final one is gonna be the burpee. So, but when you do your burpee, you can keep your chest here to the ground, and then you come up. The idea between this one is we're gonna to try to start from here. Rather than standing like this, you wanna start here and end here. So it looks like this. You see, you stay well. And why is the reason that instead of just standing like a regular burpee, why here? So you stay low so that way you keep the tension on the muscle. Because when you stand up, you rest. But while you're here, the tension is on the legs and it's a lot harder. Okay, but if you're just learning, feel free to stand up and shake it off and then continue on to the next reps. So let's try, let's try five together. So we're gonna start here, ready, and one. And then up, two, three, four, and one more five. You see? Because every time if I stand up, it gives me too much of a rest. So that's your circuit. Get it done. Three we're gonna do three exercises for three to five rounds. I'm not into running as much. If it's on the beach, I like to run, but um, I like doing this kind of training because it's, it's high interval training. Um, you, you don't have to hurt your joints so much, and you can do it in a small space. So when you're training in small, confined spaces like this, or in your living room or outside, you know, and you don't have to run far distances to get the same cardiovascular effect. And this is all metabolic training, really intense fast, it's going to take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes, 20 at the most. So this is a very nice complement to any type of workout, whether you play soccer, uh, whether you play football or any of that stuff, you can do this in collaboration with your training. Awesome, stay tuned for get the next episode and get it done. Hazlo tu también.